Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today I just want to really quickly show you the easiest and quickest method uh, of basically taking as many photos as possible of various cars uh, to level up in your Horizon promo. Now the best way to do this is by doing it via the drag strip uh, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now if you're not familiar with Horizon promo it was in Horizon 3 uh, and there's a tab for it to show you how many cars uh, you've taken photos of. Now in essence of it it's basically more cars you take photos of you'll earn more rewards uh, at each sort of stage and I'll show you all the stages in a minute because you can win two very very cool cars uh, but as you can see here this shows every single car that is in the game uh, and in the bottom left there you can see if you've taken a photo of it or not and obviously it tells you if you've owned it so as you can see there with the 812 super fast I've got a photo of it so it just says captured um, and there's a little photo icon in the bottom right hand corner by where the car is there now when you go over to your horizon live uh, if you scroll all the way over to the Horizon Promo tab, you can see all of the sort of prizes you can earn and how many photos you have to take it. So at 100 photos, you can unlock the Ferrari Portofino, uh, which I'm sure you would have seen in Monday's live stream by turn 10. And at 200 photos, you'll unlock the Porsche 911 C2 um, Gunther Works. So there are two car prizes all in all. The rest are just sort of wheel spins and cash um, and a couple of quick chat phrases. Now, like I said, you want to start off by going to a uh, drag strip. It can be any drag strip you want um, at the end of the day, as long as it's not just a normal race. Now, the reason I say a drag strip is because all of the cars are obviously lined up in a row, uh, so you can get more cars in your photo. Whereas if you do it, for instance, just in a standard race, you're all in a sort of two by two formation, so you can't get every single car in the shot and it won't count them all. So this method's definitely a bit quicker and easier. Now, as you can see, as soon as you get to the drag strip, um, you can sort of change your car to whichever one you want. Um, bearing in mind, it's worth having a look at the sort of category they're under. So, for instance, the BMW M5 I'm in at the minute is under the Super Saloons category, which means that more other Super Saloons will sort of appear in the race, as you can see here. Now, sometimes there will be similar cars or the same car um, but not all the time so in this one i think there are six variations of car uh, for me to capture as you can see going from the lotus carlton on the right a couple of m3s some m5s uh, and then there's an audi over at the end there so i think that works out to about five or six different cars but it will show up as soon as you take the photo here now like i said because they're all lined up in a row you'll capture more of them so there you can see you've got one two three four five six six cars there just done really quickly so it's a lot easier than sort of just doing it as soon as you see a car where you'll only get one um, or just you know casually doing a normal race where you'll have to take one photo of the back of the pack and then a photo of the other part of the pack for instance so it's a lot quicker and easier doing it via the drag strip uh, and then what you want to do is obviously come out of your photo mode and then you can either finish the race off which it's not really worth it uh, or just exit and go back to the beginning now here you can change your car like i said before and i recommend picking one that's in a different category uh, so i'm going to go for the acura nsx there um, and if you don't know what categories they're in if you just sort of hit right on the right thumbstick um, it will come up with different categories so the nsx here is under modern supercars which means a variety of modern supercars will spawn as you'll see in a second um, and it's just standard again now you can create blueprints to change things around if you really want um, but i wouldn't recommend doing that until you sort of start running out of cars to do now as far as I'm aware, there's not a limit on how many files, cars can be captured in one photo. So as you can see here, there's obviously a Ford GT, GTR, um, Ferrari, a couple of Lambos, and a couple of types of Audi R8. So there's two generations in there. So in this one, there is eight cars, and it captured all eight of them done really, really quickly there. Um, so it will definitely help your progression go up and up and up. Like I said, drag strip is the best method for it. Now, there is another method you can use, um, but it really depends on how many friends you got. So if you're like me and you, you sort of prefer the game alone uh, or you just don't have many friends that have the game, it might be a bit difficult. Um, but there's definitely face group, Facebook groups out there uh, if you want to sort of join up. And this method is to do car meets. Now, what you can all do, say there's, I don't know, 12 years, you can all line up in various cars 
get a photo each and then everyone changes the car to something completely different and then you get photos again and you can rack up about 10 to 12 depending on how big your group is um, and just sort of rinse and repeat doing it that way that's definitely a really quick method um, but like I said if you sort of just prefer to game alone this drag strip way is definitely a lot quicker um, and you can go back onto your tab um, under the sort of horizon menu to see which cars you have and haven't captured and of course there is always the little camera icon above the car um, as you'll see just there above either the Civic either side of me the little cameras above them basically mean that you've not captured that car yet so in this race there was only four that I captured four new ones but again you change your car to a different category for example cult cars or, or just dirt sort of or rally whatever it is um, and a variety of cars will show up and I mean, in about 10 minutes, I must have got about 20 to 30 cars. Um, so it's definitely a very quick and easy method to use there. Now, if you've got any questions about this, please do say so in the comments down below and I'll try my best to help you out. Um, but apart from that, guys, I hope you're all staying safe. Make sure you take care. Uh, if you're new to the channel and this helped you out, I'd very much appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe as well. But apart from that, guys, thank you very much for watching. All the very best. Take care and stay safe.